Hey, what's up guys? Ali here from MySocialU.com and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, we're going to talk about Zoom Alternative. So there's a lot of privacy issues and negative press going on about Zoom and many people are not comfortable using that tool right now. So I'm going to share with you some tools that you can use instead of Zoom. Before we jump into it, you know what to do. Subscribe, hit the bell icon and also like this video. All right, now let's jump into this. And you know, full disclosure, I am a Zoom user. I never had any issues, so I may continue using the tool, but I understand there has been a lot of negative press about the privacy issue, the Zoom bombing, a lot of different things going on with that tool. I hope they figure this out and I hope they go through this and come out as a better company and a better brand. But meanwhile, let's look at different alternatives that you can use if you are not uh, gonna use Zoom for online meetings and video calls right now. So the first one is actually very popular. It's Skype Meet Now. And it's very simple to use that tool. And here I am on the Skype.com and I'm gonna scroll down it's, and here's the, it's fairly new feature inside uh, Skype, uh, Meet Now on Skype. So I'm gonna click on create your meeting. And basically you don't even need to download anything. I use Skype, I already have it downloaded on my computer. So I'll show you how to access that. But look at this, easy video meetings, no signups, no downloads, free conference call, no, um, basically no signups, no downloads, right? So if you wanna create a free meeting, all you do is just click on this link and here is the link that you wanna, uh, you wanna uh, share that link with different people or whoever you wanna invite in, in your call. And you can just copy that link and send them via messenger, uh, messenger, email them, Outlook or you know, however, maybe through WhatsApp, whatever. Um, and then once you hit call, those people will be able to join you in the Skype meet now. So very easy, you don't really have to like download anything, but I do have Skype, because I uh, use it from time to time. So I'm gonna open the, the tool as well and show you how to access it uh, if you have the downloaded Skype on your computer. You don't need it um, to access this tool, but here you go, it's coming up. So here you go, this is my Skype downloaded on my Mac computer. And look at this right here. So there's a meet now option. So I'll just click on that. And then it's fairly similar um, interface. So here's the link. This is the link I want to copy and send it to people who I want to uh, bring on to the, or want to have the meeting with. And I can, again, you know, when I click on this link, I can send them to uh, copy or Skype contacts, or I can send them through the email. And then I'm going to just click on, here's my, uh, the camera and then the cool thing about zoom is I can I'm able to blur the background That's one thing I love about this uh, Zoom. and then once I hit the call my the call will be on and then the, the, Whoever I share the link with they will be able to join me inside that call. All right So that was let me close that up. That was our first option Skype meet now that you can use instead of zoom the second one is I actually found it recently and it's very interesting it's uh, Jitsi Meet. So, and again, the URL, first of all, it's meet.jitsi. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of hard to pronounce, but the tool is called Jitsi, and the URL is meet.jits.c. Um, you can download the Chrome extension. I didn't download it yet, uh, but I really like this tool. Again, it's uh, very secure, end to end encryption, uh, and you don't need to download anything. That's, that's what I love about this tool as well. So the way you start the new meeting, basically you just kind of, you know, I'm going to meet Ali, just create the meeting name and hit go. And now we're like, game, this is it. Uh, if you want, I can, if I want, I can install the Chrome extension. That's like totally up to me. I'm not going to do that right now. And so here is me. And yeah, let me resize this window. And there are different options. So different options that you are right here under this, those like three dots. So when I click on that, I'm able to, uh, you know, full screen. So I, I can even uh, live stream. I can do recording. Uh, I can mute. There are a lot of like different options that I can do. And basically it, it did show me, let me go back and see. So here is the, this is the meeting link, meet.jit.si slash meet Ali, because that's the name of the meeting I picked in the beginning, right? Uh, I can copy this and send it to, you know, whoever I want to invite to this meeting. And uh, here's another kind of cool thing. Um, you can set your password. So, you know, I can set a password and whoever has the link and the password, only they're able to like join me uh, using this tool. So very, very handy tool. Uh, one thing I really loved about this is you can li uh, do live stream. And I believe you can, let's see, you can live stream to 
YouTube. So you can add your key or sign in with Google and then start the live stream. And another thing is you are able to record your live stream and then save it and then use it and um, blur the background. They have that option as well. I actually didn't see that earlier. That's awesome. Let me actually disable that for now. There you go. So very, very cool and free tool. So Jitsi is the second tool that you can use uh, instead of Zoom. So uh, Skype Meet now is the first one. Jitsi is the second one. And the third one is, let me close this. It's called whereby.com. I haven't used this personally, but I uh, different groups that I'm a member of and different influencers that I'm connected with, people are using this tool and really like like liking this. And it's very seems like a very easy tool. It's a web based tool, uh, and they do have a free plan uh, for one user, one meeting room. You can invite up to four people, and easy uh, to read meeting uh, room links, desktop and mobile access, screen sharing. One thing I didn't like about this tool, and maybe that's why I haven't like tested it my personally is because to be able to record because a lot of meetings that I do with people I, I want to record and then repurpose that content into maybe YouTube videos or Instagram videos or other on other channels or LinkedIn um, there to be able to do, do the recording you have to upgrade on their paid plan so that's why I haven't like used it but I'm hearing a lot of good things about this tool it's very lightweight uh, you can do a lot of like cool uh, things with this tool as well if you are not comfortable using zoom right now but again like i said i am a zoom user I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna continue using it i'm not having any uh privacy problems on my end but i do understand all that negative press so you want to be careful i think a lot of big uh, companies uh and i think that's the thing uh, if it's for one person or like a small team zoom may still be okay but if you're a big organization like a school or a church or a big company you want to be super care careful and i think like the schools are already kind of moving away from Zoom for now. Now, I do hope, because I love that tool, I do hope they are able to figure this out and come out of this as a better brand and better company. But meanwhile, these were the three tools, three video conferencing or online meeting tools that you can use instead of Zoom. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Before you go, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon, and like this video. And thanks again. I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye for now.